Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog of day, and today is Wednesday the 19th, and today was a rather interesting day weather-wise. It was freaking cold, that's the best way to describe it. Overnight, I froze my balls off, it was so damn cold. Um, of course, Bruce left me uh, mid-morning, and I was at my coldest, he decided to go sleep out on his love seat couch, whatever you want to call it, that he has of his own, and left me in bed to freeze. So I'm definitely um, really not feeling the loyalty that dog claims to have for me is all that good when it comes to abandoning me when I'm cold. So done it last year at the Hawk Race, he decided to sleep in the front of the van, stood in bed with me in the back of the van, and I froze my butt off that night also. And this um, year, I don't. it looks like the weather might be cold too. So I've got some better plans, um, better blankets, some better insulation, that kind of thing, and a better van uh, for that matter to be camping in that'll have a heater in it also. So that should not be as big an issue this year, but we will have to to definitely see that so woke up early 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 this morning i've kind of got a new um i don't know new page in my life that i'm trying out trying to get into the whole um get up early and get some stuff done real fast and then kind of chill out more in the afternoon time area and kind of reverse my schedule I'm trying to get my runs in the morning uh, i got my the race starts like 5 30 or some crap five o'clock so that's some stupid early that's before sun up which is just dumb especially when it's only gonna be like an hour before sun up so you gotta have your headlamp and then you know really you're carrying it i'm gonna be carrying at least 13 miles until i get to an aid station and drop it off my buddy or i gotta carry it the first 25 miles drop back off at the start finish line campsite area so Definitely not a fan of that. I got a feeling once it's on my head, I'll probably just leave it there because I don't feel like carrying it in a pocket. So it'll be on my head for a quarter of the run um, of the 50 miles, which is ridiculous to think about. But oh well. Um, I, part of me thinks I might kick back. Say, so claim it's going to be a time chipped event this year, which if it is, I might kick back, um, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes from everybody else, kind of let the crowd kind of filter out a little bit with me and Bruce. I don't want to be tripping people up. So that'd be that much less time I got to run in the dark. But the trails are pretty technical. Look leading out of camp it's not the worst part of the trail but it's not fun um it's going to be interesting in the dark i'm not looking forward to that at all and we'll just have to see what happens and if i can let people go ahead of me a little bit it'd be a lot easier because i'm already gonna have a hard time seeing the trail with the light with the dog anyway and then you add the people in front of it not much worse so definitely definitely until sun up i'm just gonna my plan is just to hang way back and not try and be passing up on people and all that kind of stuff and you know maybe else is trying to pass by me which would be the marathoner starting you know well behind me um if they catch me before sun up um i can't imagine that happening that's probably gonna be the case but if that would happen for some reason i'll just you know pull over and let them go by because at that point they're gonna be really smoking and they'll be way faster than me so that would not be a problem at all just kind of tuck other way especially with the dog because bruce is gonna be you know always he's been past numerous signs for and stuff but if there's a big group people he gets a little bit more antsy about that kind of thing and wants to just meet everybody and greet everybody so trying to do like we did last year kind of introduced himself to everybody before the race started and then it's much easier during the race so getting up early in the morning trying to get my colon mostly um, in check because leaving out for that race that early you do not want to have to stop on the side of a trail out in the middle of timber and take care of something so there's no porta potties out there anywhere so it's kind of a do as you got to do in the woods kind of thing so I guess it'd be like a bear. So definitely um, got up, got a bunch of stuff done. Did not actually run today. Um, didn't have, I had other stuff I had to go do. I went and got my lawn mowers um, from the shop. I had uh, three different mowers in there. Uh, my regular riding lawn mower that I mow with. I got had my um, my riding lawn mower with the snow plow in the front that really is only used for snow plowing. I had that in the shop also. Um, I got wheel weights, chains, all that kind of stuff on it. Uh, actually, the chains are off it right now. I got to put them back on. I thought I was going to throw that mower away and kind of given up on fixing it. And luckily, it got fixed fairly cheaply. I did. I tried to give the chains away. It would not fit my um, neighbor's um, his lawn mower, so I kept them. Gonna stick them back on there. Hopefully, I don't know this weekend or something. I'll get them back up on there. And I'm gonna use that to pull some wagon around, some other stuff I use it with. There's no deck, nothing, so it works really good for plowing. I got um, the order a new cable for the front to move the blade and that kind of thing, but all that's just minute little stuff. I can get off and move it manually if I need to. So definitely excited about having that rider back with the blade. Uh, I was not really looking forward to shoveling this year, um, although I could have done. I got a four-wheel drive truck. I can just kind of push stuff down too then drive over it and that doesn't work too bad but having a blade is just so much damn easier and so much quicker in your life that really saves you a lot of hassle factor so super excited about that and also had a uh, string trimmer um, 
brush cutter type thing that I picked up that did not run. It had been setting for years and years, and somebody once wanted it out of their shop, out of their shed, I guess, not shop, and brought that home, and that right there, I kind of told him, um, I need to know if there's any major repairs on any three of them. kind of said, this is the most important one. The other two are less important, and apparently his idea of major repairs, cost-wise, is not the same as mine, because I ended up spending way more money on that thing. I spent more repairing it than what I would have bought it for. So that right there is definitely... Um, yeah, that sucks. Um, but I used it um, once already. It seems to work pretty good. I'm going to probably use it a little more often, I think, once I get the idea of I could go buy some new string for it. It's just a giant um, gas-powered, like, looks like a push mower, but instead it's a weed eater. So hopefully um, I'll get my money's use out of it because I definitely could not sell it for what I have in the damn thing just to get it running and repaired. So had some massive, massive problems on it. But, oh, well, it's up and running good. Um, <laughs> it was funny hell. It actually fell off my trailer. Um as I was getting near the gas station to fill things up with all brand new gas and all three of them. And I was going to go mow one of the lots across town on the way home and didn't run a gas can like an idiot. So I stopped at the gas station and literally as I was pulling like a half block from the gas station, that thing fell off the trailer and dragging along, still hooked to a strap. So I stopped, put it back on to scratch the handle up. Not a big deal. But the um, mower guy that I take my stuff out to, I've had a jinx every time I'm out to his shop. I have flat tires, um, brakes break, um, ball joints um, go out. I've had uh, issues just constantly flat tires, constantly issues of stuff. And not like picking up nails, like delaminating and flat tires and stuff like all kinds of problems and i told him if anything went wrong this time i was going to make him start delivering and picking stuff up which is like a five dollar charge because it'd be way cheaper to pay him five bucks than it would be to pay, keep paying for everything i'm tearing up here so and i don't know if i'm going to count that um brush cutter falling off as a jinx or not because it stayed on the whole way back and i was getting in the middle really was out of gas and i had to put it i didn't get it strapped back down that last time properly so that's not really a big enough jinx so i'll probably make one more trip out there and i'll keep going until i have a major issue and then i'll just let him come pick my stuff up it's just not worth it so got done with everything there got mowed i'm gonna finish mowing the um, front and backyard of my actual house i mowed the rentals and the other empty lot across town kind of thing and um nice time i mower back god it was so nice time i mower back i um did end up hitting a water um shut off that i didn't i knew it was there and just completely forgot where i was at hit that damn thing that was always fun um looked i did kind of dent the blade pretty bad but i'm gonna order some new ones for it i just i gotta get in there and measure them see how big they are so that right there was pretty much how the day went um Nothing really major going on. Oh, I went and um, my car's done. I'll get it hopefully um, tomorrow. My plan is to go out for a run and then pick it up also. So I got my truck back. Um, truck's doing awesome. Loving it. Um, you got to love when you can pick up a four-wheel drive truck that's as cheap as I did. I mean, absolutely. I don't know where I'd be without my four-wheel drive truck. I've used it off and on a few times here and there. But come winter again, uh, the tires that I have on are the best tires in the world. And they help a lot. But I couldn't live my life without a four-wheel drive truck again. Um two-wheel drive trucks are just, I don't know, in my opinion, are not worth having. So if you're using it like a giant fifth wheel camper puller and you're pulling it, you know, down near Texas and kind of stuff, fine. But around here, if you're only going to have one truck, it's got to be four-wheel drive. But anyway, that's all I got for now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.